Here's a look at the Airbnb that we stayed at in Savannah, Georgia, and I did my first away event. This was about two and a half hours away from my house. I normally do events that are either in my town or like an hour away at the most. So I found this cute little Airbnb. It's an old building that they've converted into several different rooms, like hotel rooms basically, but it's in an old building instead. On the second floor, they had like a really nice little coffee bar area. So this is us the morning of the event. We stayed one night there and got up and we had to get up at like six o'clock in the morning. So it was a really early start. I mean, not really for me, but for my daughter it was. It was an absolutely beautiful day. You can see here, this is the outside of the building. And if you've never been to Savannah, it's worth going just to see like the moss on the trees and the architecture of the buildings. It's absolutely beautiful in the downtown area. And this was right in the middle of the historical downtown area. And I was just trying to get some, uh, you know, some pictures here of um, the area that was surrounding the place that we stayed. And it was actually called The Present. And I think I've got a picture here, um, a still image, so you can see the actual building. It was really cool. And I was just impressed as to how clean it was and safe. You felt very safe in there because everything was under lock and key. It was like padlocks or whatever. So, you know, you, you felt pretty safe in there and parking was convenient but this is a picture of my daughter and I before we were leaving to go to the venue and um, she usually comes along with me to help she's my helper and here's us arriving at the venue it was at the railroad museum in Savannah which was about nine blocks away from where we stayed and it was a really cool setup um, it was a huge event I was actually there with Georgia Grown um, or, you know, as a vendor with them. There was lots of Georgia grown people there. Um, we weren't in one single area though. We were kind of scattered throughout the whole venue. But um, this place was just really neat. Um, I don't know if I said or not, but it's the Savannah Food and Wine Festival. And I did us a little time lapse of getting ready because if y'all are like me, then you're curious as to how people set up. And that's to me, that's just why I'm filming this video is because when I first started doing this, I was always so curious as to how people set up and curious about events, like how they went for people, how, you know, how they did it, um, you know, just all the details and stuff was just always curious to me. And I don't know really any other people that do markets to ask, except for the few people that I talked to at my local markets. But, you know, like as far as having other business people to ask, it was really, really cold that day, though. Um, here's our final setup. I took my jacket off for the picture, but you can see I had to wear an exhibitor pass. So I felt kind of fancy with that. I've never had to do that before. And I just was trying to shoot some footage so that you guys can see um, other people coming in and setting up and things like that. We were one of the first ones there. We got there pretty early. We were there at like 8.15 in the morning. And by this time it had gotten a little bit warmer. I got us a little piece of pizza from a vendor. It was really good. And here's an um, uh, image of the people that were there. I mean, it was packed you probably can't even tell by these videos here but it was like people were just like inches um, you know apart from each other it was like really packed and this is the trash that people left on our table I don't know if y'all have done an event like that but literally <laughs> and that was a wrap so that was the end of our day and it was a beautiful day it was a successful day and tiring though we had a beautiful sunset on the way home this was our drive home view it was really nice and I'll do it again next year